Hold up, boys. Hold up. So, Nidalee, target banned against Layen. IG does not ban Samira into Able. This might be the first time it's been up in like four or five series. This could, it's, it's been like over 10 games since this has not been one, two, three banned. Okay. What is the angle going to be? Do we just get a trundle for Aki? I like this in. I think Aki's Zen is pretty solid. And the, do they just take Samira right here? Hell yes. One, two, Samira. Okay, never mind. They don't go for the Samira. Okay, so they, they might not go Samira at all. I mean, they have a Yumi, so they probably won't go Samira at all here. But it looks like they're going to go Sivir. Normally, when you see Yumi, it's with Sivir. It's with Zeri, but Zeri's banned. I mean, the question here is, are they just going to blind their mid then? Or do they take, like, Renata? Do they take a Philios? Looks like they're just blinding their mid. I don't know if Cream will play Talia. I mean, he might end up having to play Lissandra here. He could play Rise as well, technically. I mean, I think this is Sivir on three, though. With the way the draft is shaping up, this is Sivir on three, I think. Nope, so there's the Sivir. It's actually one of the more standard drafts you're going to get from OMG. They almost never draft the standard. And normally, the thing about OMG is when they do draft standard, they normally don't play that well. So I'm a little bit nervous for them. Look at Cream, bro. Look at him. He's just arguing for his pick. He's like, please, just give me a Kali, bro. I don't care if it's a bad matchup. I play a Kali, bro. You know who I am? They don't go for the Talia. They do go for the Kali. That is definitely more OMG. The, look at them hovering Samira. Look at them taunting Abel. Hovering the Samira over and over again. Oh my god. He took the Samira into the Samira guy. No shot. Look at him laughing. Look at that smile, bro. He knows what he's doing. They took Samira into the Samira guy. God damn. Yeah, Sejuani. Yep, Sejuani is what it is. Shivana. I feel like Shivana is just not enough CC. They could have won Shivana here, but Shivana into Jax, I don't think is like even super good anyway. I think they need frontline. Oh, OMG actually looks pretty nervous. I mean, they know that this is like their time, bro. If they don't win this series, they're favorites in the series. If they don't win this series, then their fate is no longer in their hands. Never a spot you want to be in as a competitive player. Who do I think will win based on draft? It's close, bro. I kind of am favoring IG in my head, just knowing how they've been playing recently and that they have so much playmaking potential. I'm kind of favoring IG, but I, just, I hope OMG wins. Oh, Aki's just going to go straight for the Grom contest. He's going to be level two, but soon as he starts off, Grom might have to get over the wall. He's going to have to flash here. Shun's gonna have to flash. Okay, Odd is there. Okay, flash on him, Abel. Oh no, he gets the smite and the heal. Oh no, it's a tragedy. It is an absolute tragedy. Okay, all right, it's not that much of a tragedy. It's because the Sivir started spell shield level one. So it just had no damage there, bro. It was a spell shield start Sivir. It ends up being one for one, but like, my God. That was tough. Is Akali moving up here? Actually, I actually didn't see on the mini map. No, Akali's not moving up. All right, let's see it. Massive. Shanji heading in first, and Aki heads for the plating. Ultimate from Zeke as he hits into the counter. Oh, they got outplayed. This is delayed. Aki and Shanji are just trying to buy time. With Shanji can go first. As Ignite drops down, Shanji with the Arctic yeah. Assault. Ooh, the flash away. Fine. So Aki was trying to do like two procs of the Q and then EQ him, but Zika timed his E with it. He knew it was coming. I mean, that's still good for Shanji overall, but they wanted the kill. Like they, they definitely want the kill here. Both early objectives. And we'll get a replay from Zika's perspective of how he does outplay this one. Yeah, so he just E's right when the EQ comes in. Holds the E for quite a long time, which to me felt like the critical thing after popping the ult yep. decently early on to make sure that doesn't come through. And then great Q and then flash away to prevent. I mean, it's uh, well played. It's well played for sure. Coming out from Shanji. Missed a bit of CS, but as he comes to the top side now, Zika still has a lot to work with. Oh, Getting they're jumping onto Shanji, but I mean, Shanji's pretty tanky, and there's a Yumi here. We'll see if this ends up being good. Because, like, I mean, Cream is going to get. I, he got a kill here. He has R2. Oh, on ends up living? <gasps> on lived. It's huge. All the time. Cream it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. They did this win the game here. Maybe. Oh wait. Maybe not. Maybe not. And even with Yumi, even with him going down, Mo. Come on, Yumi. Come on, Yumi. Beat their ass. Is one oh, the middle oh of man, they lost the four v five. Oh no, it's doomed. It's a Juani ult. So. Oh wait, they're going for it now. They're going for on, but on has a shield bow. Wait, hold on. On has a shield bow though. Running in, he has the Inferno trigger yet again, but needs the angle as knocked in. Yeah, I mean they can't they can't fight this. Even though they have first move, they just can't fight because On has shield bow. And now they're gonna be able to um herald mid. I mean it looks like Cream is just trying to fight all the time, but like his team just isn't able to actually help him yet. 
put a lot of pressure down towards bot side. And he's dead. Mid look crazy, called out. Great job. Mull sets it up. Shun. Damn. They're just getting clapped, bro. Oh, he's just getting clapped by IG. Dude, I wish IG had this roster from the beginning of the split. If they played with this roster from the beginning of the split, they would be contending for playoffs. I mean, the problem here is if they go for this, like, the Juani ult, I'm sure that On will be able to react with W. Oh, wait, this is actually kind of good. This is probably the best fight they're going to get. I mean, the main problem is that the Samir is huge. Cream is coming around the side. I mean, he's got to fucking leave. He's gone in as OMG have disengaged. Mole still having a spirit rush. The charm not connecting. It's in front of this dragon. And this is without Jax, by the way. This is without Jax, but I think the trade of ults should theoretically be good for OMG. I mean, normally, when you're a Yumi team and like everyone expends their ults, Yumi just becomes the most obnoxious champion in the game. A lot of damage not sure if that actually will matter. Gold. OMG, they, they want to fight this, but they're down 8k gold. They should probably just be catching side waves. But I mean, it's OMG, bro. They're not going to catch side waves here. They're just going to fight it. They're going to try to look for the best fight they can get. And Aki might get his ult back if he's getting a lot of Qs off. And Sajwani's dead. Yeah, they're just here. And he spins! Ziz Myron right now is where all sit <laughs> the Ziz references. Well. Oh man, the Samira champion. Oh no. And they get bot turret. And they're gonna get mid tier three. This one's gonna this one's a wrap, boys. This is a wrap. Trying to find a way in, but they might just walk into IG. IG, I think you're playing this. Oh, oh uh, he's just dead. And the well, One more. they're just too weak. Close to dying is too far behind in gold at this point. The they can't even win the, the weight. Like, so uh -oh. theoretically, they should have some advantage in front to back because they have, uh, they have like better tanks and Sivir's really good front to back, but they don't have anyone who's tanky enough to really be able to use that advantage. I feel worse than yesterday, but I'd rather just not take something that's pretty strong. If I don't have to, you know, feel good enough that I can show up and do my stuff. Zika is just dead. Nice. Akali gets the shutdown. Wait, did he even have a shield? Yeah, he had a 650 gold shutdown. They're just going to get fucking wiped here by Samira, aren't they? Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a horror. Oh, that's game. That's an end mid angle. The 12-1 Samira into Abel. That's just disrespect, KKA man. This is just disrespect. You know who gets my MVP vote? Damn. So we have Shanji's Rumble. Okay, Shanji's Rumble. I like that. Shanji's Rumble creams Ari. Now this should be a Samira ban, no? On, we're, we're, on is trying to ban. He's like, bro, why do we need to ban Samira? This guy's dog shit on it anyway, and he's like smirking as he says it. They're like, and, and, and look at Mo. Mo's just looking at him. He's like, and the coach is like, please just can ban Samira, man. Rumble top with Ignite. This is Shanji's thing. This is one of his uh, picks. Okay, Draven ban. And the coach is still trying to tell this guy, please just ban Samira. He's like, I don't want to f***ing ban Samira. This is my interpretation of what's probably going on. And then he f***ing ban Samira, bro. I swear they're arguing that whole time over the Samira ban. I swear they're arguing that whole time over the Samira ban. Jinx isn't too bad here. I think Jinx is, is not good here. I just think that there's like, when you play Jinx, you normally want to play with a Tom Kench or like a Thresh, something that can help you reposition when you're playing into this much dive. Like they just don't have good peel. I think Sivir could have potentially worked, but even Sivir, it's hard to get autos off here. So maybe they just side on the um, Ezreal because Ezreal is just way more safe. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's Ignite, Comet, Rumble in lane. Like good luck laning versus. Let's see how Zeka does, but normally Shanji does well. Dude, and I like that, you know, this is the game that matters, right? This is the game where everything is on the line for OMG. Everything is on the line in this game, and they go to the Shanji Rumble with Ignite. They're playing without TP in this game. They're playing with no TPs outside of an able TP. Like, is that even playing with the TP? Are you even playing with the TP if the only person that has TP is your AD carry? It's crazy to think that this might not only be OMG's last regular season game. This this potentially be the last time we see OMG until next year, right? Oh yeah. I mean, there's a world where they lose and other teams win. They aren't able to get going. A lot of it gonna rely on this man on our screen. This looks fucking funny seeing the way they trade. I mean, Rumble isn't really like good until level three. Level three is when you become like really OP. like we've been seeing, you know, other things come out on Galia, whether it's the unsealed spellbook or things like. Oh, is it a solo kill angle? We've been hitting on before. Oh, he's solo killed. He's dead. He's dead. There it is. There's the Shanji solo kill. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's the kind of solo kill you look forward to as we watch the replay again at level three. He takes a turret shot. That's what kills him. Turret shot, trying to push the wave in. Shanji even doing a great job with the wave control, right? Because he started the E to make sure he isn't just constantly pushing that wave, and then flashes to be able to follow through and get the kill. Oh, two v two. Cream is uh, cream is no flash. 
And oh, looking for the W? Reset. Come Lucky on, OMG. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's a three zero Let's you go, dude. Away. I need this team in playoffs. Come on. Down. Get this win. Get this win. Derek might be too late. Mole's going to go in. Going to get a chunk here. Okay, good, 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 good. Clean. Good turn. But Mole now with the ulti in the nick of time. No, I mean, he's, really. he's dead. He's burnt down to a sun. They could flash in, but they flashed out. They should be good here. They should be good here. They can win. They win the whole game here, don't they? Shun is dead too. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. A rumble ult? Yeah, that rumble ult felt, felt really good. But Shanji's rumble is, is, is insane. I just hope that he plays it more. We're holding top. We're holding for our rumble. Just just play weak side, Abel. Just play weak side. I got this one. This Giga Chad Shanji. Zid is actually really bad at ganking uh, Jax, by the way. It's like one of the matchups I hate playing. Honestly, it's fair because even when I think when I look at IG's comp, the only way. Ooh, good Ooh, Abel actually got... Okay, Jun misses. Aki is dead here, I think. Yeah, Aki is dead. Chun gets bailed out. Abel is going to have to flash here. Oh, this is not good. Ooh, clean! The R flash! I like that. I like that R flash. I, how bad are you feeling right now as Aphelios right. seeing rumble items? Yeah. A whole team. The more members it hits, the uh -oh. more you're looking at this game right now and you're like, am I going to need to... Oh, just uh, charm flash from Dream there. I mean, they're not going to be able to play for the uh, dragon off that, but they can play for mid turret. The silver lining is, is as a Aphelios, you're like, do I need a maw? Like, I might just need a maw this game. Also, Cole just cashed in for Abel. They get the mid objective bounty. Shanji's moving on it. They're going to turn this into a fight. This is looking really good. Mole's almost already dead. Cream survives for now. He's alive? He is alive. Cream has got the ult over here. Now here with the winds of war, shield of yeah, he ends up dying, but I mean, Shanji is going to do work here, no? Oh my god, the ulti from Shanji. Shanji is almost like a nuke. He's chasing down Are they really not going to kill anyone? Okay. Mole is dead for sure. However, Mole taking the turret shots now. Be ends up be being executed, though. I mean, overall, it's fine for IG. It's not that bad. Punishing the fact that Shanji is pushing bot yeah, without TP. Uh, Shanji's going to have I mean, to start joining the fights now. I just finished Ozark with uh, with Kelly. That's the last thing we watched. Pretty good. Cold is just zoning. They're just ulting Jun here so Jun can't get in. Trying to finish while he's while Jun's ulted. I mean, that was a well, well taken Baron. Now they can go over to Drake. Well, while you Google that, I'll, I'll look at this potential dive towards you, you top side. Shanji looking to go down. Does go golden, but turret is going down so fast. Shanji, what are you going to do? He... Uh, he didn't misclick old. He, he was trying to R forward. Is here to save him. Aki, Wait, Shanji? So Uh-oh. No shot. Wait, Cream is doing damage? Okay. Wait, Cream's got ultis. They, they just win this. They win this hard. Dude, Shanji kind of like ran, ran it there for a second. I thought your middle name was Tian. No, that's my last name. My first name is Chris. My last name is Tian. A wink almost died to just like <laughs> rumble hold, I guess. I read this book called Grit, which was recommended to me. Where it's supposed to, it's like about you know how to be like a gritty person, how to like accept challenges, and you know how like people that are successful power through unfavorable situations. But like, I already feel like I have a decent amount of grit as a person. So, it didn't really help me too much compared to, like, the other ones. Okay. On gets the reset here. But they should just be able to get funneled in, no? Oh, Cream goes in. Okay, he gets the Zanyas off. All right, good enough. Good enough. Cream's out. He's got one more charge. All right, they still win. They still win. That was a little bit of a hairy fight. I'm going to be honest. OMG is just way too fed. No, and you can see OMG now just pinging the base. They have two waves of supers. They're going for the end. Mole, you are going down for the fifth time in this game. And, uh, yeah, OMG. Okay, Shanji Rumble Gap. Do we just end it? Okay, that should be good enough to get them to playoffs. But if they want to guarantee their playoffs, got to win the series. One more game. What's the worst book you read after you actively started reading? Probably The Alchemist. I did not enjoy that book at all. That, but like I know a lot of people will say that's like one of their favorite books ever. That book just completely missed for me. First pick Vi for Zika. Okay, so with Zika playing this first pick Vi, I wonder if that affects the chances that we get to see a um 
Samira. Lockdown seems pretty good against that champion. Means that they're trying to get um, able to play Sivir again, I guess. What happens if OMG loses? Nothing yet. Nothing happens yet. If anyone's legend wins their next series against um, top esports, then OMG won't make playoffs, provided that FPX beats the team that they're playing against. FPX beats WE. Shaj is just back at it with the rumble again. Can it work that time? We're doing it again. Helios for not Ezreal. Just lock in your champions, bro. Just lock it in. We all know what it is. It could go Lulu, I guess. I don't know, bro. I think it's just a Renata. Hom Kench? So now having, you know, the okay, I mean, that's an Ezreal once again. They ran the same comp again. Same five. Aki is just walking back and forth. Look at where Mole is, bro. Oh my god, he just thought that Mole was going to flash on him. Even with Aki now on the wave, look at where Mole is. All right, they're already moving. Get a channel and follow him. Level four mid versus level four jungle, but look over the wall. Cold here. Is he going to burn the flash? Yes, he is. Oh, he gets him. All right. Mole is literally laning in between the tier one and tier two. Jesus. Christ. Well, I mean, the, the problem there, the reason why Cream flashes is because he gets if he gets flash uh, feared with the shield, then he's just dead. Solid. Oh, cold, cold is here with Aki. Okay, I mean, Wink should die here. Wink is just dead to Abel. Oh, are they both dead? They're both dead. Oh, and they give both to, to uh, Abel here. All right, big, big, big. Oh, Jesus is going to win both games two and games three with the same comp. I, I like it, bro. Why not? Abel is living a good life. As Mole will not Good charm. Lands Solid play. Yeah, just well played, guys. Even okay. Just R on top of the guy. Guarantee the charm. Still, so G has the Brox the diff. We don't have to flame Brox to this year. He's, he's a streamer now, dude. It wasn't his fault on CLG, man. The whole team was literally just washed, to be honest. Like, it feels really bad to say, but when you look at that entire team, outside of Finn, it just felt like the whole team was just washed players. It, it reminds me of, like, IMT, you know? Like, you just need, like, if you're gonna, like, it's fine to have a washed player on your team because your washed player. Will, will have like a lot of experience but you need like good young players with with the wash player oh chanji's just dead trades one for one trades one for one there damn okay rad agree rad is the biggest fin hater dude it's rubbing off of me it's my it's my bad dude i shouldn't be flaming fin hanging out with that toxic l9 rat guy too much oh my god jun failed it oh jun failed his q flash oh that's just tragedy without Without him having a ulti, I'm not sure if it actually matters. Like, oh, without him having ulti, I'm not sure if if they kill Cream. I think Cream still lives anyway, but that was just a tragedy from Chun. Honestly, like the Vi pick is kind of growing on me. I mean, the more that I see like good players play Vi, the more I like I can understand why the pick is used. That being said, like if the champion doesn't get the perfect situations, it can be rough. I mean, this looks fine. Shanji's here. Shanji can get a good ult. A good shadow surge, but Cream gets the stopwatch off. It's big. Mole is just dead. Cream is out. Shanji is dead too. Oh wait, Shanji's alive. Shanji's alive. Holy. Oh, they didn't have vision. There was pink ward over the wall, so Abel's trying to predict the juke from Zika. All right, let's see. Let's see it. They can get the engage. They go on to cold. Good oldie from Aki to not allow um, the CC to just be chained. And here they go on to cream, but the vial to stopwatch, which is crucial. And they try to go on to um, on to Shanji. Let's see the the charm here. Yeah, the charm onto Jun actually saved Shanji's life here. He would have died. He was on two procs of the W. Most fight, man. Most fight. I don't want to see this right yeah, we've been seeing like out of all the picks, the oh, they're TPing. Stopwatch from Chanji. Oh my God, there's there's double TP. There's three TPs, triple TP. One of the TPs is able. It starts off IG favored, but with the orbit deception, the reset for Cream. It's reset. Does he get the charm here? Oh, he lands the charm. See the charm in Abel's here. Zika running for his life. Oh, clean. All right. It's a shame we haven't had it. OMG hey, found a pick. Let's go over the wall. Back Wink is sitting on a ward here. We look down to Shanji is actually kind of getting on the, the side, though. Shanji, and Shanji gets his ult off, but I mean, this might end. not be the best fight. OMG is actually Shanji moving to the other side. In. No Once again, a good ult from Aki. Oh, they're able to just get people here for. Oh my god, the damage from the Affilios is kind of nuts there. 
Now bridging down mid is a great dredge line. All right, Mole. big. Mole, Mole is a solid 0 7 here. <laughs> nice. I mean, I feel like Vex is that type of champion, though, to be honest. Like, he played bad this game, but Vex is the type of champion where once you, like, make a couple mistakes, you just start feeding out of your mind. Yeah, I can see that, Johnny. You're playing against tanks, and you're playing with AD champions, and it's really good. All right, OMG. OMG makes playoffs. Let's go. Look at Cream. Do you see that relief on Cream's face right there? Do you see that fucking relief? Holy. They were stressed about this series. I, I feel like we, we, we get to see a better... Um, a better OMG in, in playoffs. Like, they're back to being the underdog team with nothing to lose after this. They don't have to win, you know?